Start with John Corrales. Hey, Marcus, um, just wanted to check and see how that shoulder was doing. I know you're, you're wearing kind of that long sleeve kind of thing. What, what does that do? Is that just a compression thing? Uh, so, yeah, I got the kinesio tape uh, on the shoulder to kind of relieve some of the pressure that, that I'm feeling. Um, and then the shirt um, to really just help my posture and really keep the shoulder um, straight and, and also help relieve the pressure um, instead of just letting the shoulder hang. Um, and feeling that, that that pressure on it, so I mean both of those things both help, and I think I'll be most likely be playing with that with both of those for for a while until um, the shoulder probably gets you a little bit more stronger, healthier, uh, or probably just just to make sure to keep the maintenance on it and make sure that it doesn't happen again. Mark Murphy. Hey Marcus, uh, what is the explanation for what it, what What's wrong with his shoulder? And another question, Rob's passing seems to really have improved. I mean, what are you seeing from your position, the way he's moving the ball? Um, to answer your first question, uh, they said it's a contusion. Um, still don't know how the contusion happened. Um, I don't know if I was hit. Um, they said it possibly could have been something that uh, just a freak accident, got hit and then got triggered and re-aggravated uh, 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 within, the, within the games and, and stuff like that. Uh, so we don't really know exactly what's, what's going on because the x-rays came back fine. I actually went and got an MRI before the flight yesterday. So um, I haven't heard any news on that. So I'm guessing any no news about that is good news. Um, so just really trying to figure out what's really going on. Uh, it's nothing, like I said, it's nothing major that's going to keep me from playing. Um, and with Rob, um, I think we all see, you know, his growth uh, when it comes to passing, you know, especially for a guy who's, who's, who's been out as long as he has with the injuries and trying to get back into that that, that game type of shape and game uh, mentality. So we're proud of Rob, and he's only going to continue to get better as a passer um, in that position. Um. Just one last thing about his passing. You know, he assisted on your that corner three you had the other night, that touch pass. That surprised you at all that he could execute something like that? Or is that just him? Not at all. That's Rob, man. Uh, you know, we see Rob do some amazing things, not only in games, but in practices that you probably wouldn't think Rob would do or that <laughs> Rob would probably even attempt. Um, so we're, we're no longer surprised with Rob um, when he does things like that. We were surprised when he don't, and if that make any sense, you know, um, for us, we need Rob to play like that and be that type of person every game to not only help us but help evaluate, uh, evaluate but help uh, rise up the level that he can play in his potential and help this team. Final question for Marcus Abby Chin. All right, Brandon, I have three. Number one, did you say the shoulder is, is going to stop you from playing or is not going to stop you from playing? It is not going to stop okay. me. Awesome. Um, number two, what did you get in the gift exchange last night? And then uh, my third one is you guys had 17 steals last game, obviously a season high, but how have you been able to impact the ball, force those turnovers without gambling too much and, and maintaining uh, the strong team defense? Um, to answer your second question, um, I got um, 12, eight, 12 year old aged whiskey, um, but then it was stolen from me. So I ended up with a, a karaoke set. <laughs> and then um, to answer your third question with the steals, um, you know, a lot of people think, you know, steals and getting steals is about just gambling. This has really been in the right place at the right time and actually, you know, um, knowing your defenders, I mean, your off, the offensive players as, the, as a defender, what they like to do, where they like to go in certain plays, certain positions, certain times uh, of the game. Uh, and, you know, by being solid, a lot of guys are hitting the ball over to you. Uh, and, and, you know, you allow them to make the mistake themselves and it just falls right in your hand. So um, contrary to what people think, actually being, you know, solid, not gambling too much and being in the right position, you get more steals. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Marcus.